Okay, so moving on to question 17 then. Um, and we've got a compound D, which uh, we want to make from ethanol. Now the key thing to note for compound D is that it actually has an additional carbon atom. So if you count up in ethanol, ethanol's obviously got two carbons there and there, but compound D has got three compounds. So if you remember from your synthetic group, how do you introduce a new carbon atom? Uh, you generally would react it with the cyanide ion. And luckily for us, it's got a nice aldehyde group, which we know will react with cyanide uh, ions. So, um, first of all, we need to add uh, potassium cyanide and uh, sulfuric acid, and that generates uh, hydrogen cyanide. Remember, we don't add hydrogen cyanide directly, we add potassium cyanide and then we generate it in situ by adding sulfuric acid. Um, okay, and then the reaction uh, that's going to take place is I've got my ethanol, like so. I am going to add um, hydrogen cyanide and it's going to This molecule here, like so. Okay, you then need to uh, convert this cyanide group um, into a CH2 NH2 group. And if you remember from your static groups, you do that by adding hydrogen with a nickel catalyst for that. So you then react with H2 and a nickel catalyst. Um, and the reaction that's going to take place is CH3, C like so. And um, because that's a triple bond, I'm going to add two hydrogens for that to give me my binding molecule like so. Right, so uh, part two, explain why compound D is very soluble in water. So I've drawn compound D here, um, and you can see that compound D can form hydrogen bonds, of course, with water. Um, I have got lone pairs on the oxygen there. So if I draw a water molecule there, uh, delta plus, delta minus, uh, that should be delta minus as well. I've got a nice hydrogen bond there. And of course, uh, this could also form a hydrogen bond there. I can either use a lone pair or let's just go this way, like so. Um, and let's end on a lone pair, like so. That's going to be delta plus. That would be, oh, uh, so that would be delta plus. That would be delta minus on the oxygen. And then I've got another hydrogen bond, like so. Okay, so uh, compound D reacts with propane dioic acid to form a condensation polymer. Draw a possible repeat unit for this. Okay, so let's draw out first of all um, my compound D. So I'm going to draw it in a slightly different way. Okay, so I've got an alcohol group and I've got an um, amine group there. Um, and then I've got a diacid here. So I'll just draw this in a different colour, just so that you can see. Um, it's got a CH2 in the middle and then a diacid group like so. Okay, and um, as we know that this will form condensation, um, this will become an amide group, so uh, that group will go, and then that will go there, the H for there, and the OH from there will go, and uh, I will form this, like so. Now this, remember I've still got an H on the end there, so 
this is now an A minor groove. So it alternates between an Esther group and an A my group, like so. All right, uh, so this is going back to uh, sort of like some of the first things you would have done on the course. Um, so we got to predict the bond angles around atom A and B. So the, don't get carried away, just think this one through. So on this nitrogen here, it's got three bonding pairs, but remember on that nitrogen, it's got a lone pair there. This carbon here has only got three bonding pairs, no lone pair. So let's do atom A first. Remember the way we go through is we say um, it's got three bonding pairs, one lone pair. Um, pairs of electrons repel to get as far away as they can from each other, and lone pairs repel more than bonding pairs. And so the shape around here will be pyramidal, and the bond angle will be 107 degrees. For this uh, carbon here, Three bonding pairs, no uh, lone pairs, um, therefore the shape will be trigonal planar and the bond angle will be 120 degrees. All right, so part two then. Um, and we're adding an excess uh, uh, amount of aqueous sodium hydroxide to a solid sample of serine. Um, and it wants me to identify the product. So I've drawn up serine here. Um, alcohol group is not going to react with a sodium hydroxide solution nor the amine group here. It would actually be the carboxylic acid group there that that will go um, and it will be replaced uh, with a minus charge and Na plus like so. Outline the steps that the student could carry out to obtain a pure sample of this. So remember this is now a solid sample. Um, so we would filter this solid sample out and then we would recrystallize it and that would make sure that we've got a nice, solid, uh, pure sample. Okay, so this looks like the molecule from hell um, and would probably terrify you if you see this appearing on a paper. Uh, the main thing is, is don't panic, just identify your main groups um, and uh, take it from there. So, here we have it. Uh, this is uh, tabox, tabfoxine, um, which is produced in lilac trees. Identify the chiral centres. So that's not too bad. Our chiral centres, um, we've, when for a chiral centre, we're looking for a carbon with four different groups attached. So uh, that one there, we're going to have one there as well, and we're going to have one there as well. Um, and finally, we've got one there. So we've got four chiral centres in that molecule. Um, I've done a circle, you do an asterisk here. Um, then it can be broken down by alkaline hydrolysis. Draw the structures of all um, the organic products. Okay, so um, let's do that. So remember, I will break any amide link um, and any uh, ester link. I haven't got any ester links here, but I do have some amide links. So. I'm just going to draw on a diagram where my amide groups are. So this is just a, a normal um, alcohol, that's a carboxylic acid. There's an amide link there. Um, this isn't an amide link because that's a carbon then attached to a nitrogen there. Your next amide link is there. Remember you need a C double bond O directly attached to a nitrogen like so. Right, so the main thing is to just draw it out exactly as it's shown, but remember we are in alkaline conditions, so the carboxylic acids will uh, react to give you the salt. This is going to go down here, and then this is going to be NH2 there, where I've broken it there. This group then becomes a carboxylic acid here um, and then I'm just going to take it down like so NH2 but then I've broken that bond there and then that becomes a carboxylic acid like so. So really just copy it down directly from here, but break your own and remember that it's in alkaline conditions um, uh, and therefore you uh, 
will need to not have any cover so the cast is so you have spotted made a bit of a mistake there so let's change that to O minus Na plus like so and finally let's sort that guy out as well um, O minus Na plus and then we are sorted.